Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Hope and welcome to my apartment tour. So let me give some information about my house. I live in an apartment called a one room. Yeah, it's the style is a one room in Korea. That's what it's called. So that means everything is in one room. <laughs> like there is just one room. You know how houses can have like a bedroom, a sitting room, a dining room. So this one, it's all in one. <laughs> I moved here like a month. Yeah, like a month towards my graduation. So I moved from my school dormitory to here. Uh, yeah, so it's been almost a year. I make a year in February. <laughs> a month, I pay 250,000 Korean won. And that includes water and internet bills as well as the maintenance fee because in Korea I always have to pay a maintenance fee for like cleaning and everything so yeah I only have to pay for electricity <laughs> and that's really good the original price for this house was like 350,000 though but the budongsan I used budongsan is like the realtor <laughs> that I used helped me like bargain because I was just graduating so I didn't have a lot of money right so the Putongsan people helped me bargain with the landlady and she reduced the price for me which was nice so yeah let me show you guys around So the first thing you'll see when you come into my room is the kitchen. So this is my kitchen. Um, I just have a sink here and an induction stove that I use for cooking. And I also have stuff that I use for cooking, my dishes of course. And I have this space for storage. I use this as storage for mainly food stuff. Everything goes in here that's related to food. I'll just close it like that. I also have space under my sink. I use this as storage for like anything else. Water, rice, detergent. I have trash bags, my trash, everything is like in here. Everything is in there. That's it for the storage space I have. I have one, two, and three. I also have my fridge, um, microwave, my rice cooker, and electric kettle. So the fridge is not mine. It came with the house. Um, the the microwave is mine the rice cooker is mine isn't it pretty <laughs> i like this rice cooker because it's so small and cute and the electric kettle also came with the house and then i'll show you my washing machine i think this is a pretty standard washing machine that's in most one rooms most one rooms have a washing machine in built like this so it's just below the induction stove to conserve space everything is just together it's small and efficient enough <laughs> next let me take you to the living room slash dining room slash study room it's <laughs> many things in one okay so I have a chair and a desk. This desk I bought from Kupang and I had to set it all up myself. I have my graduation photo on my desk. <laughs> and let's take a moment to read this. I saw this on Instagram and it really caught my eye. It's a really good message. So I printed it and framed it so that it always reminds me when I forget. And I also have this clock here. It's currently five o'clock. And I just have some small, small things like this guy. 
my vitamins, lip balm, earphones, and this guy. These are my earmuffs. And this is my hand warmer. So I just put this here so that in case I'm moving out, I know where my hand warmer is. I know where my earmuffs are. So yeah, that's where those are. Since I am no longer a student, I don't have a lot of books, but I have a small bookshelf here. To hustle with space, I put this. This also came with the house. The only furniture I bought in the house was this desk. So this, I can pull it in and out. It's just in this position because if I put it the other way, then it will not fit because as I showed you, as I showed you, I need my laundry basket there and I need space for my washing machine door to open. <laughs> I have a fridge, I have this, I have the desk, so there is no extra space for this and it had to be somewhere. So I had to fix it like that. On top of it, I just have my calendar and when I make snacks, I just lay them there. <laughs> so yeah that's the next room i remember one of the things i also really liked about this house is the fact that it had a mirror and of course i need a mirror but i don't want to buy it so i was happy that it had one next is the bedroom this is my bed right here it's just a normal single bed actually this room did not come with a bed when i moved in i saw that there was no bed and i couldn't remember because i looked at a lot of houses so i thought this room had a bed but when i came it didn't but when i came i saw the landlady and i told her is there no bed <laughs> i asked her like is there no bed and she's like do you need a bed and i'm like yeah and then she said they'll bring it tomorrow so they brought me a bed the next day without like additional charges so yeah i have a bed so i didn't have to buy it most times so if the room doesn't come with a bed and you need one you can just buy it for yourself and have it when you move out but i didn't want all that hassle next is the wardrobe the wardrobe was also very essential to me the things that i thought had to be in the house that i chose were a refrigerator a bed and a wardrobe mainly because it's it's harder to buy these things and when you have to move you have to like hustle to sell them or move with them because the rental the moving cars are not cheap <laughs> so i just didn't want to go through all that struggle so i sold my fridge that i had at school and i wanted a bed and a closet because in a single room if the clothes are everywhere it kind of looks messy so if you have a closet you can just put everything in there so that the room looks a bit tidy even if it's small here is the closet it's not so big but it works <laughs> I just try to work with it like in winter i put all the summer clothes in the suitcases and during summer or when the weather is warmer i remove the winter clothes and put them in the suitcase so that i have enough space to utilize in each and every season this is kind of the messy part of my room <laughs> when i put the bed there is still extra space that remain there thankfully so i was able to put both my suitcases and on top of them i put my bags and i also have an extra blanket for in case it's cold so i just keep them there and i hang my handbags here <laughs> and that's my fan for summer it doesn't have space like to be anywhere so i fixed it up there <laughs> So during summer, I just remove it and use it. During winter, it stays up there. So yeah, I'm also grateful for that space. I'm able to pile all the bags there. So the house then look like a mess. I also have these two 
wardrobes in my room i decided to pile one over the other in order to like save space to maximize the space i have and i can keep stuff in them they are big enough mm. i also have my shoe rack just here next to the door the house actually comes with a shoe rack which is this but i use it to keep my dishes <laughs> i use it to keep my dishes and some other stuff so this can't be a shoe rack i i just got my own shoe rack and put it there and i have my air fryer on it and this i also keep some stuff in there yeah i also have this thing to hang my clothes in korea that aren't like you know wires like in uganda we always hang our clothes out in the sun to dry but in korea unless you have like a veranda next to your house <laughs> where of course still you have to use this most of us just we buy this and after after doing the laundry you can put it in a house or outside if you have some space and leave your clothes to dry like that i also have this this is like an automatic dispenser of air freshener so i put an air freshener can in there and then it just blows out the it just blows out the air freshener depending on time it's like the air freshener is inside so it just blows it out I set it on like 36 minutes so every 36 minutes it blows out the air so that i don't have to next is the bathroom in the bathroom i have this small cabinet where i put my toiletries and some skincare stuff body wash and stuff to clean the bathroom uh yeah it's small and good thing it closes so that when i shower i don't splash what i don't like wet the stuff inside there and the toilet is there as well so you shower they are in the same space so it's not very big i can't even be inside like this <laughs> this is just how big it is so i like this house because even though it's small i kind of feel like it's enough for me it is small enough such that i can clean it in less than an hour or so so i can always make sure that i have a clean space <laughs> even if i'm tired i can just like mop or sweep anytime so it's easy to keep clean since it's not huge you don't have to like keep postponing that i'll clean this time i'll clean this time you can just do it in a few minutes and i also like the fact that the door uses the password lock i don't need to carry a key to open it so that's really good as well many houses in korea have such um such lock systems whereby you just need to enter your password and you are inside and i think of course <laughs> i like the fact that it is very affordable the fact that i pay only two hundred fifty thousand with internet and water that's really 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 cheap <laughs> And it has everything that I need. It has everything, truthfully. Another thing I really love is the fact that I have a huge window here. So I can always open this up when I need to. <laughs> yeah. So for like aeration and stuff, I'm glad I have the window for natural light. Yeah, I'm glad I have a window. <laughs> so if you are looking for houses in Seoul, that are affordable like this price or most times they go like 300 or 350 500 they are normally this size especially like one rooms you can watch my video about how to find an apartment and if you are looking for such rooms they are called one rooms if i'm to give you guys some of like the things i am not so happy about for this house it's a bit on a it's on a slope like it's up the mountain so i always have to like climb when coming but 
I there is also a bus that leaves me kind of near so I just have to walk a few minutes so it's not like very close to the road but it is accessible like there is a bus that can bring me a bit closer if I don't take that bus then I just have to walk <laughs> to walk up but that doesn't really bother me that much also maybe the furniture some of the furniture is a bit old it gives me a hard time <laughs> sometimes but isn't that bad like i can handle it it doesn't make things so hard for me that i don't want to live here anymore yeah guys that was my house my humble abode <laughs> uh let me know what you guys think about this style of korean housing and what do you think about the price i think that price is the price was such a steal uh yeah so if you are interested in finding out how i found this apartment i found this room i'm going to leave a link in the description um for the video that i made last year <laughs> while i was apartment hunting and how i was able to find it like the apps i use and how to go about like the whole process it's going to be in my description please check it out and as always i appreciate you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you in the next one bye Softly spoken, with no strings tying you to me